Hello friends, Megan here. Welcome to 30 Minute Bar. For our class today, all you're going to need is a set of light weights. We're going to get started with warming our bodies up, separate your feet a little bit wider than hips distance, and then lowering your hips down nice and big and really squeezing at the top for our squats. Now, as always, I really want to commend you for taking the time to strengthen your body from head to toe here in our bar class. It's so good and so important for your physical health, for your mental health. Um, so good job, way to be here. It's not easy deciding to work out and move and you're doing it. So even if you stop your workout right now, I still commend you. Good job. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring your feet underneath your hips, and we're going to do alternating lunges, stepping back and bringing that leg forward. Now, as I teach, I like to typically have a theme for each week. My theme for this week is courage. As we move through our warm up here, and you start to get your heart rate going, thinking to yourself, how do you define courage? If you had to write the next definition in the dictionary, what would you jot down? Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Separate your feet widely. Big reach up and forward fold. Now really drop your head. Take a full breath in and let that go. Full breath in and release. Walk your hands over to the right. Breathing. and all the way over to the left. One more breath. Back to center, push into your strong legs, reach up to the sky, bring your feet underneath your hips, hands behind you, interlace, rolling shoulders up, back and down. Take a little shine of your chin, and your heart towards the ceiling. Two more breaths here. Back to center, good. Let's scoop up our weights as we move into a little bit of upper body work. Now first thing, establishing your posture. Draw your weight back to your hips and then forward to your toe ball mounds. Let's find an even distribution between those two areas. Hands to belly. With an exhale, feel your belly get nice and tight and strong. Good. Can you feel that? Let's hold that. Shoulders up, down, and back, and a little micro bend to your knees. Now think about the top of your head reaching to the sky. Your chest is lifted. Good, hold right there. Bring your arms straight out in front of you and then lower down with control. Now as we reflect on courage and our body is staying nice and strong, maybe think of a few people in your life who you would say are courageous. And just notice who pops into your head. Maybe it's somebody you're close with. Maybe it's somebody from a movie. Um, just who is courageous in your head? Good. Let's bring the arms straight out in front, hold. Now as you hold, draw the shoulder blades back onto your spine. 
check in with your core. Teeny, teeny, tiny circles in. Like you're circling the edge of a dime, so small. Nice, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, now hold right out in front of you, nice and strong through the core. Ground down into your toe ball mounds. Lift your heels up and lower. Up, down, good. Three more just like that. Up, down, twice more. Up, down, once more, you got this, up, and down, lower your arms, give them a little wiggle, a little shake. Good job. Full breath in, and a big breath out. Awesome, engage again, low ribs down, strong through that belly, crown tall, arms out in front of you. This time, bending elbows, open, and close. Now our shoulder blades are staying pulled down towards our spine. Yes. Really nice and slow, deliberate movements here. Our objective with bar is very different than it is in um, like a big heavy weight class. So because we're using these small tiny weights, we're going to a point of fatigue with our muscles. And that means lots and lots of repetitions and moving nice and slow. Now, as we move to that point of fatigue, the muscle fibers are going to start to break down. And when they rebuild, they're going to rebuild stronger. Two more right here. Keep those shoulder blades together and down. Awesome. Now the next time your elbows are forward, we're gonna keep them there. It can be tempting here to draw the shoulders forward. Don't do that, keep them on the back. Now little one inch pulse up and down with the elbows and keeping those elbows drawn in, shoulder blades on your back. Use your breath. Six, ooh, it's burning for me. Five, four, Three, elbows in, elbows in, shoulders down. Two, one, now hold. Belly in, crown tall, heels up and down. Heels up and down. Heels up and down. Just one more cycle, you've got this up and down. Beautiful, take that down, shimmy it out, roll. Good job. All right, one last time with our shoulders here. Actually, you know what? My shoulders are feeling done. Let's move on. We're gonna move to our back body. So the same thing, we want everything in nice and tight, and then palms forward, elbows back. Now we're going to squeeze those elbows back towards the spine. Very tempting here. My default is to jut my ribs forward, instead of using the muscles of my back. So just notice, can you keep these ribs tucked in nice and tight? Good. Now, if we reflect back to that word courage, Brene Brown says that there are three ways we can cultivate courage in our own life. And before I go there, let me go back to her way of defining courage because I think it's pretty cool. She says, courage is to speak one's mind by telling one's heart. To speak one's mind by telling one's heart. Oh, big stuff, right? Three, two, one. Now hold those elbows back, 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 back. Core strong, heels high and down, up and down. So if we think about speaking one's mind by telling one's heart, how often do we just kind of say whatever to make things easy, to not stir the pot, right? 
especially I live in the Midwest. We definitely do that all the time here in the Midwest. But if you speak one's mind by telling one's heart, how would that feel? Maybe scary. Takes courage, right? Three, two, and one. Bring the heels down. Let's release, give it a little shimmy, a little shake. Elbows in, core down. Now this time, draw those elbows together and pulse the backs of your hands toward the back of the room. Good job. So how do we do this, if you're interested? Brene Brown, again, says there are three ways. Now the first way is to ask for what you need. Huh, ask for what you need. So what do you need? What is something that's missing? Maybe there's something you need help with. What could you ask for that you're needing in your life? I think I have kids, especially as a mom. Man, all the time, I am very, very willing to sacrifice my own needs for my family. But that, in the long run, really can bite me in the butt. Because then I get crabby, not fun to be around, and not really feeling like my whole complete self. Two, one, hold that squeeze. Heels up and down. So reflect right now as we go up and down with our heels a couple more times. What is just one thing that you need that you're not getting right now? Good. A couple more. You've got this. Nice and strong. Call it tall, 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 tall. Three, two, and one last one. Beautiful. Let's release. Take a big reach up to the sky. Separate your feet forward, fold, drop your head, roll out your shoulders, shimmy out your back, shake out some no's and some yeses. Good. Halfway lift and forward fold. Let's come all the way up. Now we are getting really tall again here. If you have a wall or something nearby or a chair, that might be helpful for this next one. Super strong through your core. Ground down. Let's ground down into left foot first. I'm not going to mirror you here. Right leg hovers. So notice how you can engage the muscles of, those, of the right leg without bending your knee. Okay, tall. Now imagine there's like gum or glue stuck to your floor and you're going to push that forward and then drag it in. Push it forward, drag it in, yeah? Feeling that. Now your left leg, the one that you're standing on, should be really fired up. And I want you to be tall and very still from your left foot all the way up through the top, top, top of your head. Bring your leg forward, toes on the ground. Woo, I lost my balance. Now just a little lift up and tap the toe. Little lift and tap, lift, tap, lift, tap. Check in with your posture. Can you get taller? Keep your chest lifted. Good. Three, two, one. Now lift that toe. We're going to take little teeny tiny circles in. Good. Right there. Okay, we're going to the second of the three things we can do that will help us to cultivate courage. Definition of courage as being speaking one's mind by telling one's heart. So, thing number two. Do you remember thing number one? Ask for what you need. Bring that foot in. Okay, gum on the bottom of the foot. This time we're going out to the side and drag it in out to the side, drag it in. Okay, thing number two, ask questions when you don't understand. So often, especially as adults, 
Um, there can be jargon thrown around, just things that someone says and we're like, huh, I didn't quite get that. But maybe that's something everybody knows. Ask questions if it doesn't make sense. <sighs> nice and tall. My left leg right now is on fire, especially the muscles around my hip. Okay, and that is the point of the spar class. We are strengthening all these supporting muscles. So stay with me if you can. If you need to reset, guess what? You can take what you need. Okay, bring that leg out to the side. Nice and tall, strong, engaged. Lift the toes off the ground and back down. This one's super hard for me. Up and down, up and down. So you might be going faster than me. Your toe, I'm putting pressure on my toe when it comes back down, but maybe your right leg is staying very light the whole way through. That means you have a nice, strong outer hip. Good. One more, you got it. Okay, bring those legs back together, nice and strong. This time we're going behind. Drag that glue and bring it in. Oh my goodness, it's getting tough. Ask questions when you don't understand. So maybe reflecting on just this workout so far. Were there any of the movements that you're like, huh, I don't know if I got that one, or I'm not really sure if that felt right? Post that in the comment below and I will answer you. Okay, leg back. Oh, it's gonna be the hardest part here. Lifting the toe up and down. Ooh, focus, dig deep, strong. Good, you've got this. Oh my goodness, folks, I need to be doing this one more. Seven, six, five, four, oh, three, two, and one. Oh, wow. Let's bring the back leg behind us and then reaching left arm up and over, finding a stretch on your outer hip. Full breath in and out. One more breath in and breath out. Good. Back to center. All right, we've got side two. Maybe give yourself a little shake, a little wiggle, and then we're off to that other side. Most important thing, strong, tall posture. Wait into your right leg this time. Left leg, like glue on the bottom of your foot. Draw it forward and back. Forward and back. Yes, good job. You got it, you're doing really, really well. Okay, let's review. Bring your leg forward, lift it up, tap it down. What is the definition of courage we're using? To speak one's mind by telling one's heart. To speak one's mind by telling one's heart heart. What was your initial definition of courage? Was there any similarity? Just notice. Bring your foot in. Good job. This time out to the side and in. Out to the side and in. Good job. And the first thing we can do to cultivate courage, ask for what you need. And did you identify one thing today that you can ask for? Something that you need? Bring it out to the side, lift up, tap down, up and down. Outside of my right hip, it's feeling this. Get really tall. I can feel my body leaning. I'm really going to engage through the core to try to let the core lift myself up. Good, seven more seconds. You got it. Good, let's bring that foot in. Now we're going back, back and bring it in. Courage to speak one's mind by telling one's heart. And the second thing, right, that we talked about, number two, ask questions when you don't 
understand. Good, bring that leg back and little lifts up and down. Ask questions when you don't understand. Good. All right, we've got our definition, courage. Speak one's mind by telling one's heart. We do that by asking for what we need and asking questions when we don't understand. Good. Bring that in, right leg steps behind, right arm up and over. Long deep breaths. Good. All the way back to center. Come on down to the ground in tabletop. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your wrists, you could go down to hands and knees. We're going to take a big exhale, belly in, and starting with our right leg. Now, I want you to think about your back puffing up. So maybe you take one of your weights, put it on your low back, and just don't let the butt lift up and that weight slide down. We're gonna keep supporting the weight, yes? Okay, hover your right leg, extend that leg long, and then lift it up, tap those toes. Really thinking about that right glute squeezing towards the ceiling. Now we've covered, right, our definition of courage. To speak one's mind by telling one's heart. Cultivating that by asking for what we need and by asking questions when we don't understand. We have one other way to cultivate courage. Extend that leg long, tiny circles in, teeny tiny. So this number three, right, of the ways is to not play down either celebrations or things we're looking forward to. So often when we have an accomplishment, we put caveats around it. Or we don't tell people when we're looking forward to something out of fear that it might not happen the way we want it to. Okay, toes tap and bring it up. So I want you to think right now of one thing that you can celebrate fully and wholly without any caveats. So for me, I have been really struggling for the last few months with motivation. And normally that's not a problem for me. Let's lift that leg up, tiny circles the other way. And last week, I don't know what happened. It was nice out over the weekend. And I got every single thing that I had laid out to do that week done. So I am celebrating that really big. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bring that knee in. We're going to the other side right away. Support the weight on your back. I can feel mine moving. Now left toe up and down. Support your weight. Don't play down your celebrations or things you're looking forward to. Good. Lift that leg up. Tiny circles in. Good job. Ten. So we've got our definition of courage. To speak one's mind by telling one's heart. We've got our first way of cultivating courage. Asking for what you need. We have our second way of cultivating courage. Ask questions when you don't understand. Tap the toe, lift it up. And we have our third way. Not playing down your celebrations and what you're looking forward to. So reflect, what is one thing that you're really looking forward to in your life? 
Good. Lift that leg up and circle it in. Awesome. Oh, that shake, 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 shake is there. One thing I'm trying to be more intentional about is cultivating my friendships. So one thing I'm looking forward to is um, I'm setting up little like coffee dates, lunch dates with friends, and I'm really looking forward to that. Three, two, and one. Oof -da. Okay, let's bring that in. Remove your weight. Come on down to the ground. We're gonna leave one leg tucked in. Opposite leg is just going to swing over. We're going to allow the glute to slide down to the ground. Good. Now, as you breathe in, get really tall. And then we're going to twist. So I have my left leg over, so I'll take my left hand behind. So whichever foot is on top, take that hand behind. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, feel your shoulders move towards the back of the room. Good, unwind, bring your feet wider than your hips and windshield wipe, side to side. Really good. Let's go to the other side. There we go. <laughs> I've got my right leg up and over now, left leg tucked behind, starting by sitting, getting nice and tall, letting the glute find some space. And then right arm goes behind Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Once more. All the way back to center. Feet nice and wide. All right, final review here. Courage to speak one's mind by telling one's heart. And we do that by asking for what we need. Ask questions when you don't understand, crisscross your ankles, forward fold, and by not playing down your celebrations and what you're looking forward to. So if you came up with all three things, maybe you post them down below or maybe just one. And I thank you so much for being here. Push into your strong legs, big reach up, and sealing your courage down to your heart center. Take care. Bye.